this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema here to review How to Build a Girl, which will be available on digital and on demand May 8th, 2020, courtesy of IFC Films. Uh, it is the latest film directed by Cody Giedroyk. Uh, she's uh, worked extensively in television for the past two decades. Her last uh, feature narrative film was 1999's Women Talking Dirty with uh, Helena Bottom Carter. Um, this film premiered at the 2019 Toronto International Film Festival where it picked up a Fapresci Prize uh, in the Special Presentations uh, program. Uh, it stars Beanie Feldstein who uh, is playing a young uh, British teen who kind of lives in her head and wants to be a writer. Uh, she wins uh, a stint on a popular television show that's hosted by Chris O'Dowd uh, and reads some poetry that goes disastrously wrong. Uh, but she sends in an article to a Rolling Stones type publication and she ends up uh, finagling her way in as a 16 year old uh, as a music critic. Um, but quickly learned that the only thing that sells is not really her authentic voice, but uh, being uh, hyperbolic, exaggerated, uh, for in her own words, a bitch, um, which kind of grants her some notoriety, and she develops this persona of Dolly Wilde. Um, she falls in love with uh, a rock star played by Elfie Allen, uh, who's named uh, John Kite. Uh, but because of her publications, she ends up kind of ruining that relationship uh, and, and then just uh, has to come to the realization that it's her authentic voice that counts. Um, it's, a, it's a great lead performance from Beanie Feldstein, uh, who to me was, uh, I thought, the best breakout in Lady Bird uh, and also had a, a, you know, a comparable role in Booksmart. But even across these three films, uh, she's completely different in each one. Uh, and I kept forgetting that she's not British. I also didn't realize that she's Jonah Hill's sister. Um, Patty Considine as her father. Uh, there's roles, uh, Chris O'Dowd, Emma Thompson shows up at the end, uh, albeit in kind of a familiar fashion. Uh, there's, what I didn't quite care for was uh, Johanna's inspirations are paced all over a wall uh, in people like Sylvia Plath and Sigmund Freud and the Bronte sisters and Donna Summer and uh, Elizabeth Taylor, uh, which were sometimes distracting because the, those figures would move and most of them were played by quite notable actors. Uh, I just thought the effects were less than the kind of uh, fantastical elements they were supposed to bring, uh, except for like, Lucy Punch, I think, had a couple of good lines of Sylvia Plath. Uh, the title is based on a novel by Caitlin Moran. Uh, I kept wanting in my head to make it the parenthetical to Bride of Frankenstein, uh, How to Build a Girl, but I, I think the film even transcends your expectations of what that title is even saying. Um, and, and just messages about authenticity and uh, female authorship and... Um, uh, but really, it's just a, a very another fine performance from uh, Beanie Feldstein, who's uh, worth the watch, even if a lot of this feels very familiar. Overall, I would give this three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.